Hi, this is Ladige coming to you with another DIY. Today I will be making over this vase right here. This is a part of my Goodwill, one of my Goodwill hauls. I picked this up um, a couple of weeks ago and I think I only paid like $2 and some change for it. And I think that was a great deal. I am going to be making this uh, vase over and I was inspired as I was looking at a young lady's channel. I don't know if I'm spelling, saying her name right. I think it's Yadaba. And her channel is Yadaba Essentials. That is how she spelled her name. But I was inspired by a DIY that she did with some of these little silver plastic spoons. And this is a part of the products that I'm going to be using along with my bling wrap a brush, some silver glitter from Walmart, um, my glue sticks, and this candle holder. I'm also going to be using some newspaper to catch the glitter and my glue gun. Well, let's get started. I also just want to add that I'm going to be using this Mod Podge and this glue if I run out of the Mod Podge. This is how the glitter accent is going to be looking on it. I don't know if y'all can see it, but this, this vase already has lines on it. And it is such a beautiful vase already, but I just want to make it even better. And as I said, you know, I was inspired by Yadva with these uh, plastic mini spoons. But I'm always going to try and, um, she didn't make this, she made something else with those spoons. But I was inspired by that and I'm all, as usual, I'm always going to try and add a Ladija touch to it. And right now I am going to just go ahead and complete this up. Every other space is what I'm doing with the glitter. There's a space, skip to there and all the way around. Okay, now that I've gotten my, all my glitter on, I am now going to start taking and putting some bling on. And I want to take the time to shout out to all the gifted and talented women on YouTube. I don't want to start naming names. And the only reason I brought up uh, Yadava was because I was watching her channel and she used these plastic um, many spoons and I just want to I do want to talk about her talent which is a godly gift and she's not the only one that's on YouTube that that has that gift there are so many gifted women on YouTube that I've had the honor to watch their channel 
and I just can't say enough about some of the things that I've seen on, on the channel. And I, I, I don't want to take anything from anyone and start naming names, but shout out to all the gifted women on YouTube. Okay, the next thing I'm going to start doing is, I see it, glitter. Not glitter, but bling wrap. This here is a roll of the bling. And that's what I'm going to do for each one of these. Okay. I'm just going to add a roll of bling. And that is the second little blame that I've added. Okay, now that I've gotten my glitter and my bling added onto my vase, I am going to start laying some of these spoons in between the gaps here. This here is the first row of spoons. Looks like it's going to be another beautiful DIY. This vase is coming along beautifully. And one thing I want to tell you, if you're going to, if you have a curved base like this, this is the best way to glue this. Just lay it on.
And it's coming along beautifully. I just got to finish the rest of it. And that is what I'm going to go ahead and do. Well, you all, the boss is coming along great. And I didn't show you all because I'm just assuming um, people know how to break the spoons. I'll just take the spoon, break it. And as I said, to hold a spoon like this when you're working with the curved boss, this is the best way to um, hold it and put the glue on. I kept burning my fingers trying to um, put this glue on here. So I realized real fast that this is the best way to do it. You don't have to worry about getting the glue all over the spoon, just in the main places, like at the top, at the bottom. One side is good. If you can manage to get it all around the spoon, great. But I'm finding that just making sure that I get it at the bottom on one side is excellent. This is the tricky part right here, right in this curve. You have to add a little extra glue to it. If I must say so myself, this turned out beautifully. I think I'm going to add some bling around the top. On second thoughts, I'm not. You know what? I am going to go ahead and add some bling to it. Well, fam, this is the completed boss. I think it turned out beautifully. I'm just going to turn it around and let you all see it. I'm no florist, but I try and do something, just a little some type of arrangement. This back so it won't be seen. I 
think it turned out beautifully. That is nice. That is gorgeous. Hey family, if you love this DIY, don't forget to comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, remember that I'm always praying for you guys and that I'm always, one of my prayers is, is that you all will make Jesus your Savior and Lord if he is not already. You all have a blessed day.